Hi, folks. Larry Wingett here. You know, we hear all these people talking. If you've listened to my speeches, you've heard me trash this whole idea before. People talk about the secrets of success. I put out a little card a few years ago, one of these little postcards. What I said on this card was there are no secrets to success. Solve a problem. You know, it really does come down to that. You have to be a problem solver. You solve a problem to get your job whether it be you're working for yourself, solopreneur, entrepreneur, whatever, or whether you work for a big company, whether you're a janitor, whether you're CEO, you solve somebody's problem. If you didn't solve a problem, uh, they wouldn't have hired you. And the bigger the problem you solve, the more money you get paid. I mean, it's not that complicated to say, do you want fries with that? That's why it pays what it does. It is complicated to solve big, big problems. And so that has more value in the marketplace. Number three, be worth more than you cost. So let's say you're up to 40 bucks an hour. If you don't bring $40 worth of revenue into them, you are considered an expense. You cannot be an expense to anyone. Then you're not worth it. So you have to bring in more revenue than you cost the people you're working for. You are just exactly like everybody else. That's how it is. We're all just alike. We're all, I'm providing service. If I wasn't providing you any service, you'd click off and never pay your $7 a month again. But hopefully you're getting $7 worth of value out of it. That's why you pay your $7 a month. We have to understand we're all just alike. We are paid according to the value we bring to the marketplace. So you have to solve a problem, bring value. You have to be worth more than it costs to solve that problem. And then the last one, outwork everyone. Outwork everyone. There's just something that can be said for just working hard. Trouble is, people just work hard enough to get by. You know, Les Brown used to say, work hard enough so they won't fire me, and they pay me just enough so I won't quit. Sadly, that's the situation of most people right now. But if you solve a problem, add value, are worth more than you cost, and you outwork everybody, there you go. That's what it takes, what it's always taken. We got lazy somewhere along the way. Go do it. And this is what he said. He said, if you want to be successful in business, forget about making the customer happy. Do you all have a problem with that? You see, I have a big problem with that. Forget about making the customer happy. He said, if you want to be successful in business, Spend all of your time and your energy making your employees happy. Now, here's the problem with that. You can't make employees happy. You don't get paid to be happy on the job. You get paid to do your job. Isn't that right? Say you bet. Yeah. That's what it really comes down to. Nobody cares if you're happy. Nobody. You don't care whether I'm happy up here. You paid me to do my job. Isn't that right? Say you bet. Yeah. That's why I'm here, to do my job. I got a lot of people who work for me. Trust me, they don't care whether Larry's having a good day or not. They're counting on me to do what I do so they can get paid. Isn't that true? That's what it really comes down to. We're telling people they got to be happy all the time. I went to dinner with a bunch of friends, and we all went out, and we were sitting there at the restaurant, and we go in, and we sit down at the table, and the waiter comes up, and this is the first thing out of his mouth. He said, I'm just telling you right now, don't expect very good service from me tonight. I'm having a really bad day. Now, what can I get you? I said, well, you can get me a new waiter. <laughs> he said, no, I'm serious. I said, oh, trust me, so am I. <laughs> I said, get me a new waiter. He said, I can't do that. You see, this is my table. I said, now, you see, you're confused. This is my table. I'm paying for this table. It's my table, not yours. I don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares. The problem we have right now in America is we tell people you've got to be happy all the time. <laughs> and then you've got those who are saying... Just touch yourself in the chest say, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. Heard those guys? You gotta work till you get rich, isn't that right? That's what it comes down to. People aren't willing to work anymore. And suddenly the biggest secret, I'll give you the secret, here's the real secret, work. That's it. But Larry, my work's not fulfilling. I don't care. You're getting paid, aren't you? That's really why you went to work, wasn't it? But I don't love what I do. You gotta love what you do every single day. I gotta tell you right now, I hate what I do for a living. <laughs> that surprises you, doesn't it? Now here's where every single one of you are confused. You think this 
It's what I do for a living. It's not what I do for a living. I do this maybe 100 hours per year. I travel 250 days a year to make this 100 hours happen. I love my 100 hours. I can't stand those 250 days on the road. Here's the key, though. I love my 100 hours enough. I'm willing to do it. I'll put up with it. That's how you have to look at your job. I mean, you're going to love what you do realistically about 10% of the time. That's what it really comes down to. So all these books out there that are just saying the stupid stuff, come on, people. Get through this stuff. It's got to make sense. And I'm making to you right now. You are broke because you want to be broke. And you're going, that's not fair, Larry. I don't think I want to be broke. Yes, you do. If you, weren't, if you didn't want to be broke, you wouldn't be broke. You want every situation in your life to be the way it is because that's how it is. If you wanted it to be another way, it would be another way. Besides that, nobody ever held a gun to your head and made you go out there and spend money you didn't have. You did that out of your choices. You chose to reach in your back pocket, pull out that credit card, and spend more money than you earned. You chose to sit down, sign a contract for a house you couldn't afford. They take all those credit cards people spend, uh, send them in the mail, and they spend more money than they have any right to spend knowing and you can't convince me ever that people don't know they're doing the wrong thing. People know. You know you're spending more money than you can afford to pay back. It was your choice. Your actions brought you to the place where you are right now. And again, if you want to change your future, you've got to change your present. If you want to have more money in the future, you've got to change the way you're spending your money right now. It's all very, very simple. I have a very simple approach to everything. If you know me at all, you know that by now. If you want to have more money, you've got to spend less money than you're spending right now, and you've got to earn more money than you're earning right now. This video series is about business. It's about the business of being in business, managing a business, and working in and for a business. And that's really the key word, work. But most people actually work harder at not working than really working. Studies tell us that people only actually work which means they do what they were hired to do and are paid to do about half the time they're on the job. The rest of the time is spent socializing, surfing the internet, drinking coffee, checking emails, playing on Facebook, spending time on personal phone calls, and a ton of other things. Sound familiar? Now most of you watching will be quick to say, oh no, not me, that's not me. Well, I hope that's the case. Do you knowingly stretch your coffee breaks and lunch hour past the allotted time? Do you ever give a project less than your best effort? Are you ever guilty of giving your customers less than amazing service? Do you ever take the easy road instead of the right road? Do you ever call in sick when you really just wanted a day off? Well, the truth is we're all guilty of some of this stuff at some level. We are all thieves. We all steal from our employers by not doing what we're paid to do. And we all steal from ourselves when we don't do our best. And we all steal from ourselves when we don't do our best. In this series, my friends and I are going to teach you things you can do so your business can do better. But let's be clear, it all starts with you. Businesses get better when the people in the business get better. My first lesson for you is asking you to look at yourself. 